start with a plank walk out this evening. Um, if you have a mat coming to the top, if you just have an open space, choose a space where you can walk out and do a plank. So we bend over, bring your hands to the floor, walk our hands out, and walk up, back up. Plank walkouts are a really great way to warm up our whole body, especially for core. All right, as we walk this next one out, want us to do a swim with one arm and then with the other. So it looks like this. You walk it out, circle one arm, circle the other, walk it on back. If that's too much, you can always just stick with the walk out. No need to circle those arms. But if you can, add it. We'll really warm up that shoulder joint. Give me one more. And bring it back up. Alrighty, we're gonna come, we're gonna bring our feet hip width apart. We're gonna sink into a squat, pushing our hips back, standing up, pressing up to the heels. Right here like this, nice and intentional. If you decide how low to take the squats, we are warming up after all. Give me three more like this. Two. And one, we're gonna add a standing bicycle in between our squats, we're gonna squat. Knee goes towards elbow. Oh, oh, hold on, guys. Technical difficulties. Bringing it back. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, squat with the standing bicycle. Squat, knee to elbow. Squat, and knee to elbow. Couple more here, and that chest raise. One more each side. All right, stand it up tall. We're gonna do alternating reverse lunge. So we take a big step back, and then the other leg, big step back. Chest is raised. Four more. Each side, so three more each side. Two. And one. Very good. All right, we're gonna grab, if you have lighters, grab them. If you have a towel, grab it. If not, I'll show you what to do instead. So I'm gonna be taking and putting the towel underneath one of my feet. I'm doing a very slow lunge back. The sliding of the towel makes that possible. So I take it nice and slow and slide it in. You're pushing pressure into the floor the whole time, okay? If you don't have a towel, continue to do a big step back and bring it in, but still trying to slow it down a little bit if you can, okay? All right, starting on one side, sliding it back, sliding it in, back, and in. Very good. Remembering to breathe. Maybe I can slow mine down a little bit more. Slow. And up. Again, back. And up. Four more of these, nice and slow. Four. Three. Two and one. All right. If you have a towel, I want you to come about halfway down. If you don't, just come halfway down like this, okay? And we're going to pulse. If you have a towel, you can slide it back and forth. If you don't, the pulse looks more like this, okay? Pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. We'll be switching to the other side, right? So nice and slow. Taking it back and down, bringing it up and in. Back and down, up and in. Very good. We're taking that next step back for a slow one if you don't, you can't slide. All right, let's slow down even more. 
slow and up, down and up. Go in that burn, right? Four more here. Four. Pressing to that foot that whole time. Two. And one. All right, we're gonna do our pulses now. So come halfway down, you have that towel, and slide it back and forth like that, and you're pulsing up and down like this. Okay, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, stand up, shake that out. My legs are feeling tired. Hopefully yours are feeling a little bit tired too. All right, we're gonna come down to the floor. To your mat if you have one. No equipment needed for this next move. We're gonna be doing a bear with side arm reaches. So a bear that you come to all fours, but then you kind of bring the toes and you come up onto the toes, lifting those knees up off the mat. If that is too much for you, you can always come to like a plank on the knees and lift here instead, okay? Or just hold a bear pose or a plank pose, either up on the toes or down on the knees. You have a lot of options here, okay? If you're gonna be joining me in the bear, lift up, okay? And then the next level is to take a reach to the side and a reach to the side. This is kind of our advanced option, okay? Our intermediate option would be to just hold right here. No reaches, okay? You decide what your body is up for today. If you are doing the reaches, try and keep that body as still as possible, even though you're moving and changing your center of balance over and over again. Give me four more reaches. Four. Keep breathing. Three. Two. We've got this. And one. All right, come to those knees. Sit back in child's pose. Take a nice deep breath in and out. All right, and come on up for me. So this next one, we have an option to use the towel or discs if you have them, okay? I'm gonna be bringing my towel underneath my hands. Um, if you've ever seen one of those like crazy ab wheels <laughs> where you hold on to it and you roll out and roll it back in, in fact, if you have an ab wheel at home for some reason, you're welcome to substitute with this exercise. Um, but we're going to mimic that, okay? So we're gonna be coming and putting our hands right here, sliding out and sliding back in. As you do this, you're really gonna activate that core. Modifications. So modifications are to sit back a little bit. So I'm sitting back, weight is over my heels a little bit more. Slide out and slide back in. We wanna make sure we're not rounding the back as we do this, but try and keep it nice and strong, okay? So that'd be a little easier. If you do not have a towel at home, you can come to either a plank on toes or on the knees, walk hand forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, okay? Choose what works best for you. All right, I'm gonna bring my hands to my towel. I'm gonna slide out. Slide back in, keeping the abs in the back nice and engaged. Remember, if you need a modification, lean back, keeping the weight more over the heels, okay? You'll still feel that slide through the core. Three, four, three, two, one. All right. Nice job, everyone. So equipment needed for this next one. We're going to be starting with the bird dog. So bird dogs, you come to all fours. Don't have the best names for all of our exercises. Come to all fours, put the knees under the hips, the wrist under the shoulders. We're going to take opposite arm and opposite leg. We lift them up, bring them back to center, lift them up, bring them back to center. Start here, and in a second, I'm going to give you an option for how to make this a more advanced move. Okay, 
reaching and reaching. If this is too much, you can always slide that back foot along the floor instead, okay? If you're ready for that advanced option, we're coming up to a high plank, office arm and leg, office arm and leg. Remember, this is an advanced option. You can stay on those knees, okay? Great way to start building that strength. Four more here. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Sit back in child's pose for me. Take that nice deep breath in. And out. Sit up. Roll those wrists for a second for me. And roll them the other way. All right. Our next one. Everybody is going to be doing a reverse plank of some sort. So a reverse plank, belly button's going up towards the ceiling. I'm going to be bringing my hands back here um, behind my hips, lifting up, raising that chest to the ceiling. That's our reverse plank. Now, if you have the space for it and something to slide with, just give myself a little more space here. We're going to be taking the glider or the towels under the feet. And we're going to be alternating between reverse plank to an L sit. Reverse plank to an L sit. So on that, we push the hips up for the reverse plank, pull them back under for the L sit. That is an advanced move, okay? If you don't feel comfortable with it, stay with that um, reverse plank, okay? All right. But if you'd like to join me, Towel or gliders under the feet, lift up towards the sky, come through to the hands, lift up, come through through the hands, lift up. Very good. If you're holding a reverse plank at any point in time, you need to go down, you're welcome to. But just try and stay up as long as you can. Four more. Four. Three. Two and one. All right. Come sit down again. Roll those wrists for me. Shake it off. All right. We're going to lay down on our back for this next one. I'm going to bring my full mat back. Okay. So, this next move, um, I usually call it a TikTok. We're going to be laying down on our back. We're going to start with bent knees, and then the advanced move is to straighten the legs. But bring our arms out to the side. You can also put them under the hips if that helps you, okay? We're gonna drop the legs to one side and then bring them over to the other, okay? We're going to be keeping that low back pressed into the floor through the whole move, okay? Well, you're gonna be keeping, I should say, the upper back pressed to the mat, okay? You don't want the shoulder blades to come up off the mat. We are going to be rotating side to side so that low back will come up off, okay? Advance this to straighten those legs, okay? All right, start with bent. Take it one side and then the other. Keeping that upper back on the mat. And if you want, go ahead and straighten the legs. Taking them one side and then the other. I just don't even have the space for that. I have to bend my legs just so I can make it work and stay in the in the, in the screen. Such challenges, right guys? All right. So use the core. Well, bring your legs up back on the floor. And keep it nice and slow. Give me four more. In fact, if you're doing straight legs, it will be slower. Just create because you're creating a bigger arc. Give me one more full one and bring it back to center. Take those legs down to the floor, reach overhead, stretching from toes all the way through the fingers. Very good. All right. This next one, we're going to be coming to all fours again. We are going to be doing 
an abductor slide. So abductors are muscles, anytime we're moving muscles, um, anytime we're moving away from the center of the body. Um, when I got certified, I taught us to remember away as in you're moving away from a bad date. That's great little mnemonics, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring, if you have gliders, you're gonna bring it under a hand and under a knee, okay? I'm also gonna turn this way for you for a second so I can show you. It'll be under a hand and under a knee. We're gonna slide out, pressing through the floor the whole time and slide back in. Slide up and back in, okay? So we work the abductors as we go out, work the adductors as we pull back in, okay? If you do not have something to slide on, it'll just be right here, okay? And I want you to think of, um, and if you do have carpet, you are welcome to try sliding. You can take, I would not lift the knee. Sounds like something terrible just happened upstairs in my house. It's okay, everyone. We're gonna take one hand and bring it back in. If you wanna bring it to a plank, you can take it out and in, okay? Modified plank. We'll do it on the side here, modified plank, out and in, out and in, okay? Just kind of get creative if you're like, everything's too crazy. Always hold the plank, always do great core exercise for you, okay? All right, but if you are sliding with me, one hand, one knee, slide out and in, slide out and in, very good. Keep breathing, guys. Four more. Three, two, and one. All right, and then we have to do that other side. I'm sure you all have had very interesting stories too. If you were working from home, all right, come in here, sliding out and in, out and in. I'm sure we're all looking forward to the day, even if it's far out, when we get to come back to this together, maybe with music <laughs> and not the distractions in our house. Slide for me. Yes. Four. Three, two, and one. Very good. All right. No towel or gliders needed for our next two exercises. We're going to be coming down. We're going to do a basic move that hopefully you're all are going to feel very comfortable with. We're going to be doing a bicycle crunch. The only thing we're going to change about it is we're going to make it slow. We're going to really focus on those muscles and focus on form. So with a bicycle crunch, hands come behind the head. We bring knee towards opposite elbow, okay? It can be done right here like this, where feet tap. It can also be done where both feet are lifted, okay? Like that. Like I said, I do want you to go slow. I want you to focus on that form. Focus on the abs being our primary movers. Try and keep that neck relaxed, chin up off of the chest, okay? Here we go. Knee towards the elbow and switch. And switch, switch again, one side, and then the other. Very good. Keep checking that form every once in a while. Check in with those abs, are they working? You need four, three, two, one. All right. Reach overhead. Stretch from toes through fingers for me. All right. So up next, we have another plank variation. So with this one, I'm going to give you three options. Option one, if you are used to doing planks on your knees, is to go from planks on the knees to planks on the toes. So you'd be knees to toes, knees to toes. Okay. If 
You want, if you're used to doing planks on your toes, but you're not maybe quite advanced just yet, you are going to go plank to plank. You can also think of like downward dog, plank to plank, okay? And our last option is instead of plank, you give me a push up and go to plank. So it would look like this, push up. If you kind of get going and come straight up out of the push-up and push up into pike, that'll be kind of a little bit of an explosive move. So you decide what you'd like to do, okay? All right, I'm gonna start with plank to pike. If you want to jump right into push-ups, feel free, okay? So plank and pike. Plank and pike. One and then the other. If you want, you're welcome to do that push-up and up. Push up. I like to say that push ups are planks to have bonus arm workout. <laughs> All right. Whatever option you're doing, give me four more. Three, two, and one. Very good. Come to those knees. Sit back in child's pose for me. All right, take a nice deep breath. Then we're coming back up, okay? We're gonna quickly go through, hit a couple of the moves from the evening. We're gonna be starting with those reverse lunges. If you have something to glide on, take it and put it under one foot, okay? Let's do 10 of these and then 10 pulses, okay? So standing tall, slide it out, slide it in. Slide it out, slide it in, or step it out if you're not taking a sliding option. Standing tall. Four more. Three. Two. And one. All right, very good. Let me switch to that other one, okay? Slide it out, and in. Out, and in. I forgot to do the pulses, didn't I? We'll hit those here in a second. Three. Two. And one. All right, let's do pulses this side, then we'll do pulses the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stand it up. Switch to the other side, this leg's lucky. It got a break in between. Ten pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stand up. Shake those legs out. Coming down to the mat, okay? So we are gonna go into that ab slide out or the plank, walk the hands forward and back. We aren't doing a sliding option. So just a very quick recap. If you've got something to slide with or glide with, come here, come out. Use the abs to bring you back in. You can wing back over the heels to make it a little easier. If you are not using equipment, you can do a plank on knees or toes, forward, forward, back, back, okay? All right, 10, we can do this, here we go. Brace those abs. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Very good. All right. Bird dogs are next. So either bird dogs on all fours. That's when we do opposite arm, opposite leg. 
or you can come up to a plank, okay? We are welcome to start with a plank. I'm going to start on my knees. So lift one side and then the other. One side and then the other. Very good. Reaching and stretching. Halfway, I may join the advanced one. Two, one more. All right, come to those knees. Sit back, take a deep breath in, and out. All right, so we're going to do that reverse plank, okay? Optional if you're using a slider or a glider is to do the reverse plank to the L sit, okay? Doing that, towel or gliders goes under the feet. Okay? If not, just hold that reverse plank for me. Okay? So we start with the reverse plank. If you are, come to the L, lift up. L, lift up. Very good. Halfway. Three more. Two and one. All right. Come down. Circle those wrists for me. Circle down the other direction. Shake it out. All right. Remember those abductor, adductor slides? Okay. Everybody's favorite. So towel goes under one side of the body, under one hand, one foot. Just slide out. I'm going to slide back in. If you don't have this, you can always come to a plank and try either like a side lift or a side tap out. Be really careful. If you're gliding, you at least get to keep all four limbs on the floor, right? Three more. Two and one. All right, other side. Set this up. One hand, one knee. Okay, slide out and in. Out and in. You got it. Halfway. Two and one. All right, sit up for me. Roll those wrists on the other way. Shake them out. If at any point any of these moves feel painful <laughs> in any way, please do take a modification. I'm teaching remotely as a new experience. Harder to see where people are at, whether they need to be challenged more, whether they need to pull back. So I'm just trying to throw a lot at you and hopefully get you something that works for you. All right. We are going to be coming down to the mat and doing our slow bicycles. Okay? Hands behind the head. Elbow towards knee, elbow towards knee. One side and then the other. Remember, you can do where you tap. And keep the feet on the floor. Okay, that one's a little bit easier. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Lay down for a second, reach overhead, stretch from the toes all the way through those fingertips. All right. And come up. We are going to be doing um, the plank to plank. Okay. Remember, level one is if you're using planks on your knees, it's planks on your knees to the toes, knees to toes. The middle option is the plank to plank. And that advanced option is the push up 
to plank, okay? You choose what you would like to do. I'm gonna go middle, okay? I'm gonna be doing plank to pipe. See if you can do 10 of these, okay? Here we go. Plank and pike. And pike. Halfway. Give me one more. All right, when you're done, this is if you're doing push ups, you may still be going. Sit back in child's pose, arms stretched out. Okay. All right, we're going to come down to the floor. Okay. Our last move is we're just going to do some super hands. Um, we have had some exercises that work the back, but we just want to make sure we throw in some back exercises to even out the ab exercises that we've done. So Superman's, um, if you're new to Superman's, I'd like you to do alternating ones. That's where you work up as the arm and leg. They look like this, okay? If you are not new to Superman's, feel free to lift up and down. If you've been doing Superman's a lot and those are super easy, you are welcome to grab something light, like a very light dumbbell, a can of soup or something to hold in between the two hands, okay? If not, Body weight will work perfectly, okay? I'm gonna be using my body weight here, okay? All right, try and keep those eyes on those mat. You lift and lower, lift and lower. We're going for 12, so we're halfway. Four, three, two, and one. Bend those elbows. Bring those belt elbows in and lift up. Our Sphinx pose. If you're not feeling anything, you are welcome to push up into full cobra here. Okay? But if, if you feel enough of a stretch, stay here. All right. Now we're going to come up. Bring those knees under our body. Sit back into child's pose, stretching those arms out. I'm going to take this child's pose a little bit to the side by taking one arm over the top and stretching here. And then come back, take this arm over the top. Taking it a little bit through the side. Come back to center. Let's come up to all fours and do some cat cow for the back. Round it up. Round down, look forward. Round up. Down, look forward. Three more. Two. And one. All right. We're going to lay down on the mat. We're going to roll ourselves on back. Take one leg to the floor. Bend that other knee. Hug that knee towards your chest. Opposite hand, grab that knee and gently pull it across the body. The other arm lays out to the side. Come back to center, take this leg down to the floor. Bring this knee in towards the chest, hugging it there. Take the opposite hand, grab the knee, gently pull across the body. Come back to center, bring that other knee up, hug both those knees. Add a little rocking motion side to side if it feels good. Do 
going to do figure four. So we're going to be releasing the knees, crossing an ankle of the opposite leg, grabbing that bottom leg and gently pulling. Just, you know, pulling enough that you feel a gentle stretch. Switch, cross the other ankle over the other thigh, grab the bottom leg and gently pull. Bring those feet to the floor. You can grab the backs of your legs and gently pull yourself up. Okay. We did a lot of um, moves today that use the wrist, so we're going to do a nice little wrist stretch here. We're going to start by circling. Circle the other way. Shake them out. We're going to bring a palm forward, and we're going to take our the tips of our fingers with the opposite hand and very, very gently pull back, okay? Very gently. When I work with seniors, we don't even have them pull at all. We just have them flex their hand right here. So if you need to be gentle with your body, that's an option. All right, release. Flex the hand, fingers with the opposite hand, grab them and very gently pull. And release. Bring this hand to the floor. Take this other hand and reach up overhead. As we go to sit up, catch the head with the tips of those fingers. Gently pull. Bring a stretch through the upper shoulder and the neck. Feels good. And release. Take this hand to the floor. Reach up overhead with this hand. We're going to be sitting up. So again, gently catch the head with those fingertips and gently pull. Release and come back to center. Let's roll the shoulders. And the other way. And back to center. Open up the chest, bring the arms across and give yourself a hug. Open up the chest, bring the arms across and give yourself a hug. Do two more of these. And one more. Bring the hands in front of you, interlace those fingers, then push them out and away. You're going to sit up tall, bring those arms up overhead. Then we're going to bring it ever so slightly, just a teeny tiny bit to the side. Over to the other side, ever so slightly, just a teeny tiny bit. And release, bring those hands down. I'm going to turn to the side, but I'm going to bring my hands behind me, turn my fingers away. I'm just going to arch, kind of lift my chest up towards the ceiling. All right, and we're going to hinge forward. We're going to walk our hands out in front of us just as far down as we can. Some of you, your flexibility is going to bring you right here. Some people are going to like fold in half and lay down on the floor. Just follow your body's lead. Go to where you can. And then slowly slide up. Very good. We're going to end with two deep breaths. I like to time it with breaths. So we're going to inhale, arms up, exhale, arms down. Okay. All right. Here we go. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. All right. Thank you for joining me here this evening. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to stay on. Um,